What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. We are back with the Crusader Thor build for Diablo 3 Season 27. Now, I just want to say and give a big shout out to, I'm butcher his name, but Kali Polis. Kali Polis, I think that's his name. Big shout out to Kali Polis down in the comment section and supporter of the channel for helping me out. I really do appreciate all the feedback that you guys give me on our build videos, things that you guys are doing, things that maybe I should try out and change to make the builds better for you guys. So I'm bringing that here for you today. So we changed up our Thor Guardian or our Seder Thor build for season 27 by a lot and we have a lot of changes and stuff to go over. So before we get into the rift, I do want to show you why we changed it, okay? So this is our first one, our original our might almighty build, which is the same thing, okay? And I want to equip this and show this to you guys, all right? So this is what I want you guys to look at and this is the main reason why we changed it. So we're at 1.3 million damage and we have 33 million toughness. Now watch those numbers when we change to this. Are you ready? Bam, let it fill up. We gain over a million sheet damage and then we gain how much toughness? How much, 120 or no, wait, 112? Let's go back, let's check that again. We're at 33 million toughness. We swap this and go to 145. We gain 112 million toughness. That is insane. And we gained over a, or just about a million damage. So that's why we changed it. Let's go knock out a G, GR90. And then we're going to come back and talk about the build and the gear. Everything you guys need as always. Let's do this. So, how the build plays is, we're going to pop laws, pop our, our our iron, what is this, our, what is this, iron skin for just more defense. You're going to pop laws to give our, uh, all of our stuff cost reduction. And then all you're going to do is fly around the map with steed, our steed charge, and just, and just destroy everything with your auto casting uh, fist of the heavens. Now, every time you stop, if you want, you can auto cast them like I do, which I think is really fun. But if you really wanted to, they destroy. You don't even have to get off your horse. You can just you can just run for free and let the auto cast do everything. This build is super chill, super easy to dominate with on T16 and uh, speed GRs, which you see us doing now. And then don't forget about doing your regular rifts. This is gonna work for all three. I wouldn't suggest changing the build too much, but we are gonna bring a T16 version of this for you guys just so we have that added luxury but for gr speed rifts at 90s this is definitely the build for crusaders now i haven't pushed this high yet so gr 90s is probably definitely just where you want to keep this at but i haven't pushed it as high as i can and we were we're going to end up doing that for you guys just to kind of report and i'll leave that down in the comments but just to showcase how awesome the build is we're just going to do a 90 and just dominate okay you can see the build is super, super cool. Again, it's one of my favorites, if not my favorite, for Crusader. The Crusaders didn't get a lot of love, guys, so they got to have something fun, all right? They got to have something fun, okay? Something fun, something quick, something cool. And what's better than, like, pretending that you're Thor, okay? And you're just annihilating, okay? As far as Rift Guardians, they get destroyed, man. Absolutely destroyed. Let's grab everything. We're gonna we're gonna hit up our rings, guys, and I'll see you back in town for the gear. All right, guys, we are back in town. Let's knock this out. A minute fifty three on the GR ninety. Again, the build is super fast, crazy fast. You could probably push this up to like the one hundred fives, maybe one tens eventually. But all right, let's get into the gear and everything that you're gonna need, guys. So coming in here, let's look at what we made differently. Okay, we used to rock the Captain Crimson's. And then just a bracer of fury, which actually was just a, you know, a random bracer spot. You could probably put a, a whole bunch of different things in here: nemesis bracers, the arm guards, wars and chain arm guards, anything you want. But we swapped out our bracers and our armor for the Aquila and then the Guardian set. Okay, so let's go over everything. You're gonna need five out of the six pieces for Aegis of Valar because everything is done through Fist of Heaven's 
damage. All right, we're going to get a bunch of wrath back. We're going to get damage reduction. We're going to do a crap ton of damage with Fist of Heavens. Okay. Pairing that, we went with the Guardian set for the increase, the three set bonus, the increase 100% to our stats. Okay, this is insane. This is what's given us such a huge jump. All right, and then we swapped out just a normal piece of armor for Aquilas, so that way we get the damage reduction. Because remember, guys, in our previous video, this build was actually really squishy up close. We ain't squishy no more, guys. We ain't squishy no more. All right, so we got Aquila paired with Guardian set, and then our amulet and rings did not change. We went with Squirt's Necklace along with Focus and Restraint, guys, for more damage. All right. Then in our weapon and offhand slots, we got the uh, Norvold's Fever set, which is doing everything for our Steed Charge. That's why we're able to constantly Steed Charge around the map nonstop. And then you get 200% increased damage while on Steed Charge and when you're off in five seconds after you stop Steed Charging. So while you're on... All the auto casts are getting the increased damage. And then when you're off, your manual cast will get it. Okay. So that's the gear. Our legendary gems are going to be Zayas Stone of Vengeance for more damage. Gogok of Swiftness. This is mainly for the dodge and attack speed, but really is for the cooldown reduction. So that way we can try to get Akarat's champion up as much as possible. But really, it's for the other three. And then, of course, we got Molten Beast gizzard molten wildebeest gizzard this just gives you more shield if you uh if you feel like if you're doing speeds and stuff and you don't really need this i would swap this for bane of the trap just for more damage all right and then our gems of course we got uh diamonds for just all resist because that is definitely what you want and then of course the um emerald inside the weapon for more damage uh our stat priorities here guys are going to be uh strength crit chance fist of heavens damage our shoulders are going to be strength, vit, all resist, cooldown. Our gloves are going to be strength, crit, crit, cooldown. Our chest is going to be strength, vit. I need to change this to uh, all resist, but I haven't done that yet because we just got the Aquila, but change that to all resist. Our belt is going to be strength, vit, life. Change the smite damage to all resist. Our pants are going to be strength, vit, all resist. Boots, strength, vit, all resist. Change shield bass damage to fist of the heavens damage. Our uh, amulet is going to be strength crit crit. Our bracers are going to be, uh, we want that to be uh, lightning damage, but we got physical and then strength vit armor, which is fine. Our two rings are going to be the same, guys. We want crit crit. Uh, strength is just fine, but if you can change it, crit crit, area damage or attack speed. On our shield, you're going to want strength, crit chance, area damage, and then fist of the heavens damage. And then on our weapon, which has the power, every two seconds we call down fist of heavens on a random nearby enemy. After casting steed charge, this happens more often. So the more that you're in steed charge, the more fist of heavens that get called down. But you're going to want uh, preferably lightning damage, strength, vit, cooldown, and then maximum wraith or wrath on there. So that's the stat priorities, guys. Into the cube, you're going to want Dark Light for Fist of the Heavens cast twice and deals 1,000% more damage. Uh, Kazaset's Court of Righteousness, Fist of the Heavens costs 40% less Wrath because it is expensive and deal does more damage. And then Royal Ring of Grandor for the two pairs. Into our skills, we got Justice Burst. We have this mainly to help proc our focus and restraint, but as you guys see, we just destroy stuff even without it. But every five seconds, you should pop this just to make sure you get the focus and restraint going off. Fist of the Heavens Fazir for just lightning damage, which is insane. Steed Charge Nightmare. I prefer Nightmare for just the, the increased fire damage as you're just going plowing through things. But you can change this to the uh, to uh, draw and quarter if you want to drag things with holy damage. So you have that option. Uh, Iron Skin Steel Skin. We want damage reduction as much as possible and for as long as possible. Uh, Laws of Valor Unstoppable Force for just giving us the not only attack speed, but we're going to get the Wrath Reduction cost by 50% for 5, which is, ends up being 10 seconds. And then Akrash Champion Profit for more armor so we stay alive. Our passives are going to be Heavenly Strength for more damage. Uh, Lord Commander to reduce cooldown of Steed Charge. Uh, finery for more strength this should be on every Crusader for more damage. And then Long Arm of the Law which makes our cost reduction be uh 10 seconds instead of five so those are the skills and passives guys we've gone over the stat priorities so 
But as a reminder, the reason we made this change, a big shout out to all you guys that are supporting the channel and helping me with uh, getting a lot better builds and maybe some stuff that I don't see, some, some suggestions that you guys have. I always appreciate the feedback and anything that you guys have to, for me to even test out and see if it's something that I wanna bring up for you guys. So I appreciate all the love. But with the change, Guardian set guys and Aquila, 100% better. You guys see it. We gained a million damage and then 112 toughness. Again, look at this. Okay. Look at this. 1.3 million, 33. Swap it. We go to 2.2 million, so almost a million damage. And then 145 million toughness. We gain 112 million toughness. Okay. On sheet damage or on the sheet. That is insane, guys. So if you are playing my Thor Guardian build that we made previously, make these changes. It's gonna be a lot better. It's gonna make your life a whole lot easier and make the build so much more fun for when you're grinding your GRs uh, and just speed plowing through everything. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. All the support has been awesome. Again, I appreciate all feedback, comments, anything that you guys kind of have to help me make the builds better for you that I can bring to you on the channel. So again, thank you guys so much and shout out to you. Um, but that's it for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching as always stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.